Welcome to the latest episode of Drinking with the Stars. I'm Lucas Shaw here with director Frank Karachi. Now Frank directed Blended, the new Adam Sandler Drew Barrymore comedy, which is in theaters this Friday. And we are here at Mixology. Unfortunately, Frank is feeling a little bit under the weather. He's been traveling around uh, for the, the various premieres and screenings of the movie. So instead of alcohol, we're going with Limeade, a little vitamin C for both of our systems. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This is um, awesome. And you just told me I found out you are also the uh, the new host of a travel channel show. I am a food. chow master. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I host a TV show with my uh, best friend that's a chef, and we travel around America uh, finding the most creative, innovative comfort food and give the winner 10 grand. It's kind of fun to be on the other side of the camera. Yeah, and <laughs> Adam, Adam just appeared. You know Adam from college, right? I went to NYU, uh, met Adam my freshman year, and became sure and fast buddies. He was in the drama department. I was uh, in, you know, film school. And yeah. He's in all my student films. We're like, someday maybe we'll get to do this, and it all worked out okay. And we got to make the wedding singer together, and that that obviously was the start of my union with Drew and Adam together. And it's been 16 years, yeah. and now we're back together again, and it feels great. So how you guys were pitching the wedding singer as just kind of like a spoof on the 80s or making set in that time period because you thought it was ripe for humor? Or? We we always knew there was something about the 80s and we were kind of 80s kids in college and high school even. Um, and uh, Adam had the idea of being a wedding singer that that uh, uh, gets dumped. And then we thought, well, if you sing modern tunes, you're going to seem like you're trying. And to do retro would be funny. So the 80s idea worked out. And, so we basically knew it was time for him to do a romantic comedy. So we were like, let's do an 80s wedding singer. Blah, blah, blah. Bring in some Billy Idol. And yeah, and it was a low budget movie. We had no idea anybody was even going to see it. And, you know, that was the, uh, a kind of had a really surprise success. Yeah. You said it was time for Adam to do a romantic comedy. Why did you guys feel like it was time for that? Uh, he's been very uh, smart with his career. and. He had done movies where he was romantic in some ways, but you know, at the time it was like Sleepless in Seattle came out and all these kind of big movies and, and uh, it, was, it seemed like the next step, but I'm not the guy that would run out to a romantic comedy. <laughs> I came out of film school, I did a film noir. I'm like, let's make a romantic comedy that we would want to see. And so I guess it worked, you know? And that, the nicest compliments I got were that it, uh, at the time where that, it feels like an independent film. I'm like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. So what do you think it is about the chemistry between Drew and Adam that just works so well because they made that and then they had 50 first dates in like 2004 and this is their third, I guess, in what's now a really weird trilogy. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is, as the director, to have the two of them is great because whatever we created in The Wedding Singer has just grown and there's a nostalgic element because, you know, people like The Wedding Singer, it's been on the big screen, it's been on your TV, it runs a lot, yeah. so you, they feel right together. And then Fifty First Dates, which I didn't do, was a really nice movie. Um, but what's the magic between them? There's only one Drew Barrymore. I mean, this woman embodies love, she's sweetness, you know. She walks in a room and everyone's just like floating on a cloud. Um, uh, Adam is a totally different, kind of edgy, funny. Um, so there's a sort of yin and yang with them. But at the same time, they both are really good, nice people. Adam's super um, generous and loyal and friendship and family. And Drew is really sweet and nice. So it's this yin and yang, yet underneath it all is a very similar similar thing between them. Yeah. So I think that somehow makes for an interesting dynamic when they're on the screen. And But then some party wants them, they fit together well. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching the latest episode of Drinking with the Stars. And again, Blended comes out this weekend. Salute. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>